Hi everybody, it is 2013, just a few days to go. Let's take a look at some of the things that interested me that year. So, this is an interesting one. A meteor exploded over Chelyabinsk in Russia. Uh, injuring over 1,400 people and uh, d and damaging over 4,000 buildings. Apparently it's the biggest uh, meteor explosion on the planet since, I, I think, the 1900s. Pope Benedict XVI resigned, and uh, the first to do so since uh, 1415. He was replaced by uh, Cardinal, and it's got a long name, so I'll, try, I'll just have a look at it. He was replaced by Cardinal... Jorg Mario Bogoglio, Bogoglio of Argentina, under the name, under his new pope name, Pope Francis. He was also the first pope that uh, came from the Americas, South America in this case, and first pope from the Southern Hemisphere. Anyway, those are the few things that I found that uh, were of interest to me. Let's have a look at some of those people who passed away in 2013. And they included Margaret Thatcher. Those of you who remember that, uh, apparently there was a cause to play some certain pop songs on the radio on her death. Jonathan Winters, the uh, American comic actor. Esther Williams, the uh, swimming film star. James Gandolfini, the actor. Lou Reed, the uh, rock, rock star. Nelson Mandela passed away that year. And also... James Avery, he was in uh, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. He was the uh, uncle, the uncle in Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Uh, Ronnie Biggs, the other uh, gangster. So his twin brother passed away a few years back, so. Peter O'Toole also passed away that year. The actor, known for his role in uh, Lawrence of Arabia. Very good film, actually. Worth the watch. David Frost, the... Uh, Journalist newscaster here on, on, on British TV. Karen Black, the actress, the American actress, not my cousin. She's, she's still alive and well. Hi, Karen. Same age as me. <laughs> Deanna Durbin, another American starlet or film star. Mel Smith, comedian, actor. You may have seen him on... Uh, not the Nile Cut News, and it was the other half of uh, Mel Smith, uh, Smith and Jones. Ian Banks, the writer, who I did get the chance to meet. I could have actually done a little interview with him, like I did with one of his uh, other writer friends, but, you know, I was a bit starstruck, I was too shy to ask him. Yeah, and I'm sure he'd have said yes too, because, yeah, but, you yeah, know, regrets. I've had a few, and that's one of them. Also passed away that year was Ray Harryhausen, the uh, animator. He was responsible for the uh, stop motion animation that you may have seen in films like uh, Clash of the Titans, for one. Yeah, I did meet him as well. He did in a. He was at the Museum of Photography, Film and Television for a day, doing a presentation and showing his his work really. And I was able to be there and see him and took some snaps. Hopefully I can find him for this, can I? Uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. I don't have any stories about 2013, except maybe I do, because yeah, in my personal life, there was a, a little excitement happened. But, uh, um, cut the long story short, uh, somebody followed me on Twitter. I, know, uh, I got a Twitter notification that I got a new follower, and I uh, had a look who it was. It's a, a woman, very good looking. So I followed her back, and, and then a yes, uh, uh, a few weeks later, I saw her just across the road from where I work, and so so uh, a little while later, I wanted to introduce myself. I said, "Hi, how are you?" And 
and we got on fairly well. So uh, it was close to my birthday, surprisingly enough. So I said, you know, come down to the pub and have a drink. So I went down to the pub and had a drink. And uh, we kept doing this for a couple of weeks. And about a month later, things got very exciting. And uh, yeah, that went on for a, a couple of years. Yeah, I'm not going to go into, amazing, into any real detail, but uh, I think a few months after our first encounter, she decided she, she w wasn't going to see me anymore. And uh, and I was a bit uh, disappointed about this, but, you know, good stuff had happened. And so so that was that, I thought. And then she sent me a text message saying, can't you come over for whatever reason? So I said, yeah, sure thing. So she comes over, you know, greet at the door, I let her in. And I go put the kettle on for a cup of tea, because that's what you do. And uh, so while the kettles get into the boil, I'll come back, have a little chat. And um, to cut another long story short, about three hours later, she finally goes home and uh, I finally got to have the cup of tea. Slightly exhausted, but uh, very pleased. I think we both were to be honest. Uh, I'll leave that there right now, but uh, yeah. yeah. Anyway, that was me in 2013. And I shall see you all tomorrow for 2014. Take care, everybody.